Hello, this is Titanosaurus Productions, and happy Valentine's Day, if you're watching this on Valentine's Day right now, when I'm uploading this. So, I was originally going to do a video on, like, um, a bunch of different Godzilla love possibilities, but, you know, Monster Island Buddy's the most popular Godzilla YouTuber on YouTube right now that I can think of has already done that, and he only did five, and I can think of way more than that, but I decided to do this instead because I was originally going to do both of them together, but now that he's done it, I thought that instead of people saying, oh, you copied this guy, um, I would just do my own thing. There are actually five different ultra women I have gathered. There are quite a bit of ultra women, as I discovered. A lot from manga. There's probably more in the manga than there are in the TV show. And I learned some pretty interesting history about the ultras. Um, but yeah, I'll be doing the Godzilla one next Valentine's Day. But, um, spoiler alert, because... It's Gojiren. Anyway, we've got, um, to start off with this, we're going to start off with, um, who do we have here? Sorry, I, I have a very limited list of five, so here we go. We're getting right into this five ultra women that could be possible love possibilities for Ultraman. As far as I know, none of them are related to each other, so yeah, here we go. Starting off this list, we've got, like, Ultra, ultra, woman, ultra woman Grigo, or Grigio, or something like that. It sounds like Garugio Bone, who's that other Ultraman monster. But anyway, I can't, like, I, I don't know much about this character. But she's, I guess, some um, newer Ultra Woman that is... Bronzish. I don't really know her personality, but she's got like that thing with her, her hand that, that rock out thing that, that um people do. So I, I guess she's almost a uh, more fun or funny character. Um, l less serious. It appears to me that she is and. Yeah, I know barely anything about her, so... Yeah, I'm gonna... I know nothing about any of these Ultra women, because I've never seen them do anything before. So, all of this is just based off of the fact that they looked like they were actual Ultras, and they've been in, like, Ultra series and stuff. Okay, here we go, number, number four. At number four, we have Ultra Woman Beth, who is, yet again, another character I know nothing about. But she's on Team USA, so yeah. America! So, we got her here. She appears to have some sort of jewelry around her neck and on her horns, upside-down horns, I guess. Um, anyway, that's, that's her. So, yeah, she's got two other brothers or friends or I don't know what they are the movies on YouTube I'll watch it whenever I don't know anyway on to number three we want to get this over with at number three we have Amia if I'm pronouncing that correctly I don't know I don't I haven't like read her name enough times on the Ultraman wiki to know what her name is yet but she appeared in the adventures of Ultraman Ultraman 2 uh, the the Ultraman, wh whatever you want to call it. There's a bunch of names for this series. The Ultraman anime. That that thing. So, yeah. This is, like, ever, this is known for being the Ultraman anime. Uh, I guess that's why it's called the Ultraman. The, you can't just say the Ultraman. You've got to say the Ultraman. But, yeah, she's, um, I forgot what... It's, she's her, she is his younger, younger, um, 
sister. So, yeah. The younger sister of Ultraman... Oh, God, I don't remember that guy's name. What was... The, the anime Ultraman. And he, th that's what... That's what she is. She's the sister of him. So, we got some family ties there. So, yeah, maybe Ultraman can make friends with that one guy. I don't know enough Ultraman lore yet to make a good enough sounding list. So here we go, number two. Next up, we have this Ultra Woman from Ultraman 80 whose name starts with a Y and I don't know how to pronounce. So I'm just going to call her Yu Yulian Yolan. I don't know. I haven't, like all of these, I haven't read their names on the Ultraman wiki enough. But Ultraman Beth, I can understand, because that's one syllable. So, yeah. Anyway, she is, I, I think, like, a, the friend, the best friend of Ultraman 80. Like, they were childhood friends or something like that. So, I would assume they're just friends. I haven't seen the series yet. I have only seen Ultraman, Ultra Q, and am currently watching Ultra 7. And all of these DVDs are hard to get your hands on, so you can't expect me to just buy a bunch of them and then watch all of the Ultraman series. But yeah, she is an option then, because you know, you got like um, another, yet again, Ultraman characters and people. And I, okay, number one, here we go. And number one, we have Ultra Woman Meg, who is Ultraman's wife in Ultraman Graffiti. Uh, yet again, something I know nothing about. I, I don't literally don't know what I'm doing right now, if I don't know anything I'm talking about, but I watched like one episode of this, so I could at least understand one of the thing, one of the characters I was talking about. And she is Ultraman's wife already, so love interest, hint, hint. Um, and apparently the Ultraman in that series is a school teacher so I'm assuming that must mean all that's Ultraman 80 because Ultraman 80 was a school teacher but but that doesn't have to mean that he looked more like the original Ultraman in appearance but at some moments he did sort of look like Ultraman 80 I know nothing about Ultraman 80, so I'm gonna stop talking about him. Anyway, um, well, I know he's a teacher. Anyway, here we go. She, I'm gonna show you some footage if it's not already on here, which is owned by Subaraya, I assume. So you can look at that, or just go watch an episode for yourself that has absolutely no English subtitles or dubs. From what I know, so if you can speak or read Japanese, then go right ahead and watch that. Anyway, I've talked for too long. That's all for this video. Goodbye.